What's going on, Adventure Gang? My name is Denzel Brett, and you are watching another episode of Mandor Explorer. So today's video, we're gonna get out and see if we could find a couple amphibians or reptiles. Today's target is mostly snakes, just because it's warm. One of the first warm days that I had that I was off. And so we're gonna see if we get on some snakes, man. You know what time it is? Do you know what time it is? It's a bunch of time. At least the water level is a little higher than it was the last time. Nothing. Let's check those other ones. So our first snake of the day goes to the ringneck snake. I think my first ring neck of the year. He is. Look at that little fella. Let me get y'all a closer look. So here's a better look at that ring neck snake. My first snake of the day. Under the last piece of tin at this flip site. I'm gonna release him right back and keep on moving. Second snake of the day, a little juvenile black racer. Actually, let me get you a closer look at that. I wasn't gonna bother him, but since we might not see much snakes today. Oh my goodness. That little bug is gone. All right, gang, so we just flipped this tire right here. And I got my first skink of the year. He's trying to bite me. I don't do it. Oh, gee. <laughs> that really hurt, bro. Don't do it. Release more. All right, I'm gonna let you go in a second, buddy. But we got my. Ouch! I I. <laughs> oh man, I gotta hold him like this. That thing. He took a chunk out. Look at that. Y'all can see that, but so I got my first skink of the year. A beautiful five-line skink. This appears to be a female. But uh I don't want to put too much stress on this animal. I'm gonna release him right back. Bye buddy. Alright. We got a couple more tires here to check. Let's see what else we could find. So we flipped the next two tires over. And I don't have any hooks or tongs with me. But we got my first copperhead of the year, man. This looks like this year is juvenile. I'll try to get a stick to get him out, but I don't think that's gonna be successful. He might just scoot down a little crack or crevice real quick, but let's see if we get angle him out. And be careful, because where there's one, there may be more. Let's leave him right here for a second. Get a couple pictures. And then I'm gonna just let him go. Because this stick isn't doing the trick at all. One super cool feature of the baby copperhead is that bright orange yellow tail. And what it is, is a quarter lure. And it helps the lure in prey for these small animals, man. So it kind of looks like a worm or something like that in the leaf litter. And then small lizards or other little animals will come up and try to figure out what it is. And by that time, this juvenile copperhead has got them. It's pretty cool. I wanted to give you guys a top-down look of this juvenile copperhead just to show you that Hershey kiss pattern. That's basically what they're known for. And that's how a lot of people tell them apart from other snakes. So if you see one in the wild that looks exactly like this, please don't try to free handle it with your hands. Okay, so we got his tire back in place. And he's right here in his leaf litter. Look at how well that thing blends in. You can barely tell where it's at. It's right here. All right, buddy, see ya. Grow big and reproduce. There he goes, gang. Whee! Let's fix this next tire back. Now we do have a couple more 
to look under. So hopefully we come across another snake. So we just pulled this tire out and now we see why the baby is hanging around this area. That's the mama. I'm gonna get a quick in C2 shot and then I'm gonna pull them off for you guys to see a better look. Awesome. All right, gang, so I pulled the leaf litter off of this animal just to give you a closer look. Beautiful snake. I mean, they don't get much prettier than this. And that's what I call a Southern Carpethead snake. All right, so the only reason why I'm moving this snake out right now is because I don't want to squish it when I put its tire back. But this is a pretty decent sized copperhead. That's a freaking huge copperhead, actually. Probably one of the bigger ones I've ever seen. Let's get his tire back in place and then we could replace that snake back too. Alright, here we go, y'all. Bye, buddy. There he goes. Go ahead, I ain't trying to do nothing to you. Sir. Let's check these other ones. These tires are really producing for me. Hopefully I get something like a king snake or a rat snake or something like that down on the year too. Okay, so the tires produce two snakes, a baby copperhead and an adult copperhead. We're gonna keep walking around, see if we can find anything else out basking in the sun. But if we find anything else to flip, I'll be happy to show you guys. Shoo. So what am I expecting on this clear cut for this railroad track would be something like a king snake or even a racer. Anything else might pop out too, but those are the big targets that I was looking for on this cut. Just because you have that nice open area up top and then also some grass on the sides for those king snakes to bass in. So we'll see. Hopefully it's productive. And I'll let you know. So we got a turtle in the road. It appears to be a common snapper. Our first snapper of the year, man. Thank you. What's up, my fella? What's up? Look like you got caught in a fire once before. But how are you doing? I don't want to hurt you. <laughs> you looking at me, I bet you won't. <laughs> oh, man. And look at that, look at that back. Look at that stance, man. He's like, I'm gonna bite you if you get any closer. <laughs> All right, gang, so we're gonna help this snapping turtle across the street. Whoa. All right, buddy. Come on now. I don't know what he comes through and squish you. Get the snapper turtle off the road and keep on moving. Bye, buddy.